Good morning, Parlour fans. It is Saturday, the 1st of July. Um, I am in the studio today for the majority of the day. And um, before I put my eight hours solid in um, for clients, I have spent uh, an hour or so doing something for myself. Um, so today we're going to talk about some uh, really nice Blood Angel conversions. So first off, um, you will all recognise this chap from the Space Hulk box set. Um, all my terminators for the force I want to do for the uh, for Golden Demon are um, Space Hulk or very kind of special. And then what I've done is taken the Space Hulk ones and converted them even more, or just upgraded them by adding additional iconography and straps and stuff. So I've made what I think are the best terminators in terms of sculpts a little bit better. Um, and I wanted 15, so obviously you get 12 with the uh, Space Hulk set. So I decided I still wanted an another few, maybe another five for a, a squad. Um, but I don't like the standard kind of sticking together Terminators, they'll look a bit boring. So what you can see here in front is the Dark Angels Terminators from the Dark Vengeance box set, which are no longer Dark Angels, as you can see. So I have um, chopped them all up and converted them all using the Blood Angels Terminator parts um, and you know some ingenuity to be able to deliver it and what I've done is make a, a, a unit that fits in well with the the general theme of the other Space Hulk models. Um, so what I did, and I'll talk you through each one because it's quite interesting, so first off this one I carved off all the um, lower leg detail and all the swords that were hanging on his belt and I replaced that with a Crux Terminatus hanging between his legs. Um, I then mounted a Blood Angel shield on the one arm. I love the, the uh, power fists on most of these guys. Um, I uh, will need to... actually, that's something I haven't done. How annoying. Um, I will need to shave down his power fist. I didn't realise I hadn't done that one yet. Uh, and remove all of the iconography. Um, on his leg I left the bottom part so just one wing exposed of the bit of Dark Angel iconography and then shaved it off and covered it with purity seals and I'll paint that bottom wing as a Blood Angel wing as if it's hanging underneath um, and then around this side I have done the more substantial conversions and that's where I have chopped the arm off and used the top part of the Thunder Hammer arm and the Blood Angel shoulder pad um, so it's seamless which is nice, it's all pinned and everything um, but it means that the, there's no longer any Dark Angel heraldry on this guy, um, which is nice. So he's got the uh, a nice piece of iconography. They've all got iconography on them because they're first company and they're badass. Um, next up, one of the standard Dark Vengeance Troopers, really straightforward. Um, so added a shield to both shoulders. You can see on the gun arm, all I have done is cut here on the piping and on the arm and switched it for a lightning claw arm um, and then it used the Blood Angels iconography shoulder pad and mounted a rack on his head but he now very nicely fits in with the theme of the Blood Angels from Space Hulk. I love this guy, this guy's totally badass in terms of his sculpt. Um, so um, he is the chain fist dude, so I've just shaved off all the iconography on the chain fist, which is what I'll do on the other one I just rediscovered. He had a, a wing anyway on his on his shoulder, um, so I have added a blood drop taken from one of the other wing details from the Blood Angels kits. Um, I have again chopped his arm here and above um, and added it onto a thunder hammer arm because I wanted to get that pose, so he was turning and reacting. Um, and then added the Blood Angels iconography on his head, um, and he looks he looks really nice. So he's a real nifty Blood Angel Terminator now. Um, actually, uh, can you see that? Can you see uh, one of them? I have, oh yeah, this one. So this one, I switched out the Dark Angel chest piece for the head and torso from a Blood Angels Terminator kit. Added two more iconography pieces, added one of the Death Company leg armors to the Power Fist, added a, an old whirlwind missile launcher from um, one of my old Terminator kits, gave him a Thunder Hammer just because I didn't want him to have a, a pistol like the other guy, um, and then 
um, switched out, so it's a standard Blood Angels arm, um, arm with a Blood Angels shoulder pad on it. Um, this guy's this guy's badass. And we've got that really lovely captain or sergeant model. Um, and uh, what I have done on this guy is I've left one piece of Dark Angel iconography, but it isn't Dark Angel. It's just the angel holding the sword, and that's present on numerous of the Blood Angel kits. Um, so I've left that because I actually really liked it. Um, and then you can see I've completely swapped out the torso. So the torso with the wings, the heavy duty wings on it that you would normally find on the sergeant is gone. And I've used one of the open torsos from the Blood Angel Terminator kit. And then the head is one of the sergeants from the original Terminator kits which I've shaved down and fit in. Um, which looks really nice. I've added some more shields to the arms again to carry the Blood Angel iconography through and then he's got the um, the halo above which is also Blood Angel of course and then he's also an arm swap to remove the Dark Angel's uh, really ornate shoulder pad he had. Um, I've switched out the arm and just shaved down the iconography on the gun um, and then I have added a Blood Angel's shoulder pad. So now I'm going to go through these uh, and just really quickly shave off all the mould lines and, and get them all ready to go. Um, and then I will prime them all up, um, ready to go with the rest of the Blood Angels, Blood Angels dudes from Space Hulk. So you can, I don't know if you can actually see on most of these, you probably won't be able to, but I've converted the... Um, the Blood Angels Terminators as well from Space Hulk. So this one for example you will remember in the box set is carrying the head with the Gene Stealer um, and I didn't want Gene Stealers in my field of battle so what I did is I cut out and swapped the arm, the end of the arm there right through, straightforward swap, um, swap out for a standard Power Fist. Um, so he is just standard Power Fist dude now rather than carrying any Gene Stealers. Uh, and the, the rest of them I have just added for everybody who didn't have them, I've just added additional Blood Angels um, shoulder armour and they've all had uh, icons added above their heads with the exception of those that have got the targeters on them. Um, the Librarian was quite a simple conversion but quite a nice one to do. So the Librarian is the standard Librarian kit and all I've done is, is add some details to him. So I added the additional um, shoulder armour and then the ropes and the crux from the old school Terminator kit just to make him look even more ornate um, and I think that worked. So those are Terminators I will be doing red in terms of Blood Angels for me and for the rest of the day today I'm going to be uh, painting Death Company for the ongoing commission for that customer and then later on this afternoon I'm going to try and do um, another Nurgle thing um, just to talk through the speed of how you can paint Nurgle. Um, you can't see this, this chap properly, he's not really. You can't really see him in the light, unfortunately, sorry. Um, but this guy took 30 minutes to paint, and a lot of people had kindly tuned into the channel. I promised that I would show how to glaze down on some of the pox walkers. Uh, at the minute, the pox walkers are all in that basket, ready for me to build, but you know, we get the idea. Okay, so uh, it's another day in the studio, let's see what I can come up with. Thanks for tuning in as always, and I will look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Cheers guys, bye.